Hey there guys, welcome to this video. My name is Pushpinder Gill and today in this video we're going to be doing uh, the method of generalized least squares or we'll be deriving uh, what we call as generalized least squares or we also call it as the weighted least squares method. So you've already watched the video on heteroscedasticity. You already know what is heteroscedasticity and you know the various measures taken to overcome the problem of heteroscedasticity and one of the measures was the the method of generalized least squares or it's also known as the method of weighted least squares so i'm going to just start with a very general piece of information i'm going to start with the model where yi is equal to beta 1 plus beta 2 xi plus the error term so as we started the derivation of ordinary least squares we have to minimize this error as much as possible Right, so what we do is uh, we kind of take this to be as the subject. This is what we have. And then uh, since we have to, let's suppose this, this is one of the error term and this is one of the error terms. We have to minimize the distance uh, from the error terms to the regression line. And this distance can be towards the negative side of the line. It can be towards the positive side of the line. Which means we have to minimize the square of the distance, you know, it's something that we did in ordinary least squares as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to square everything up. So we kind of take squares on both sides. This is what we get. And since we have to minimize the sum of the squares, we're going to take the summation on both sides. Now that is something that we did for the method of ordinary least squares. Now what do we do in generalized least squares? In generalized least squares we divide the whole equation by this expression here. Right? So we're going to divide the whole equation by this expression. Now why are we dividing it by square so that the units match up and which is why we're dividing this by square. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say let's suppose 1 over this number square it's actually equal to wi. Right, so this equation is going to transform into the summation of wi of the error term square, which is equal to the summation of wi into yi minus beta 1. So, uh, I'm going to call it as uh, beta 1 uh, minus beta 2 xi whole square. Now since uh, we have to minimize the errors, we have to make sure that the rate of change of this with respect to beta 1 and with respect to beta 2 is actually equal to 0. So what do we have to do is we have to make sure that the, the rate of change of this expression here with respect to our beta 1 and with respect to our beta 2 as well is actually equal to zero you know we kind of trying to find the value the the estimators uh, of these value values of these estimators here so if we kind of try to find it find this one out i'm just going to take this to the next uh this there so if we kind of equate these equal to zero if we kind of uh you know find the derivative of this so the derivative of wi ui square with respect to beta 1 it's going to be equal to now if you look here if you if that we have to find the derivative uh, of this thing here uh, first of all this 2 is going to come in the front here that is something which is going to happen and then uh, if you clearly see that we are actually deriving with respect to beta 1 which means this negative sign is also going to uh, going to come which means we're going to have 2 into negative 1 into summation of uh, the whole thing raised to the power my raised to the power 2 minus 1 which is 1 so this is what we have i'm just gonna uh, not gonna take care of the hats here i'm just gonna keep it like this right so this is what it is and if i try to find out the second derivative which is with respect to beta 2 if i find the derivative with respect to beta 2 so the derivative of a uh, summation of wi ui square over derivative of beta 2 again if you clearly see this 2 sign is going to come here 
which means uh, this two sign is going to come here into now with this beta 2 there is a you know an xi as well which means i'm going to have a negative xi right into the summation of wi yi minus beta 1 minus beta 2 xi right so this is the derivative that we have and what do we have to do is we have to equate this equal to 0 and we have to equate this equal to 0 now equating these equal to 0 we're going to get the equation here uh, and those equations are going to be the summation of wi yi is equal to beta 1 into summation of wi. So beta 1 into summation of wi plus beta 2 into summation of wi xi. I'm just going to put hats on the top because these are the estimators. And uh, if I kind of open this equation up, I'm going to get summation of wi xi yi is equal to beta 1 hat into summation of wi xi plus beta 2 hat into summation of wi into xi square. You know, uh, that is what we're going to get because this xi and this xi are going to multiply and we're going to get the, uh, the xi square, right? Now, if we kind of solve these equations up, you know, solving these two equations, just the way we have solved the ordinary least squares equations. So, I'm just going to cut to chase here, not going to show you the derivation. Uh, you know, it's just a little mathematical manipulation you'll have to do. So, from here, this is the information that we're going to get about the weighted least squares. Uh, that is that the value of beta 1 uh, is equal to... Uh, the average of the y values minus beta 2 uh, into the average of x value something that you know which would stay true something that I've actually derived see when we deal with the y values uh, when we when we deal with the average values the error term is actually equal to 0 because we deal we're dealing with the average values we're actually dealing with the line itself so this is something which is dealing with the line and the value of beta 2 uh, can be derived as uh, the summation of wi. This is something that I'm doing with the manipulation of these two equations here. See, I don't want to bore you with the details of maths here. I'm trying to keep the maths at minimum, uh, which the derivation you can find, uh, it, which is similar to the derivation of ordinary least squares, which we have covered in the video of ordinary least squares. So beta 2 would be equal to summation of wi into summation of wi xi yi minus the summation of wi xi uh, it's just a similar equation as the ordinary least squares just this there is an introduction of this wi in every term uh, which is going to eliminate the error of heteroscedasticity right so this is something which is going to eliminate the error of heteroscedasticity as you've already seen uh, in uh, in the previous video that the introduction of this wi the, inter the division of uh, a particular number removes the problem of heteroscedasticity as the error terms the variance of the error terms is actually a constant and it does not vary with respect to any variable so this would be about this video in the future videos we're going to be talking about the detection of heteroscedasticity uh, there are various methods, uh, informal and formal methods like uh, Park test and uh, you know Spears, Spearman's rank correlation test. We're going to be discussing uh, all those uh, all those tests uh, in the future videos about heteroscedasticity. So I suppose you're understanding this point over here. We just derived, we just uh, followed through with our discussion on weighted least squares, and uh, we kind of uh, kind of found kind of regressed. Our uh, model here in the, and we remove the error of heteroscedasticity from the model. So this would be what the video guys. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next.